All right, what's up, everybody? To another episode of everybody's favorite red mage, episode number fifty-three. My name is Spencer, aka No F and Way, and this is a five-minute breakdown of a red Magic the Gathering card, their properties, missed opportunities, and honestly, what I just think. Yeah, you can find me on twitch.com slash way for a zero dollar free experience on mtg arena i'll show you how to get it done today is the card from new streets capenna right your, your boy don't know nothing nowadays streets of new capenna streets of new capenna okay professional face breaker two in a red for a two three creature human warrior it has menace Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Sacrifice a treasure, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Look at that. Alright, look at that. So this guy has fisticuffs. He has he's go he's he's brawling out. My my man has a the picture. Alright, the picture is my, my my man has some brass knuckles, but they're they're like on, there's like a little molten lava ball like on the, on the top so no one can grab your hand and there's spikes at the end of the knuckles cool okay so you have a three man for two three which i think is not that good uh followed by a menace which i think is amazing a uh, menace is actually a really cool ability uh whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage so you create treasures so this is cool because it's like a you know effect for all your guys so you know big ups i like when cars are global like this they help they help you know push your your team to the limit oops right uh sacrifice a treasure right uh exile the top card of your library and you get to play that card so you can trigger this multiple times oh that's really cool uh let's think of the red deck all of a sudden you have a card that can rip cards at the top of your library and be like let's play that i think that's cool I think that's really, really cool. I think this is a really cool idea, really cool card. I'm happy for it. It's one of the first times I've been happy in Magic because there's no uh, mana cost, right? And this pairs very well with a lot of reasons, with a lot of treasures in the format, right? There's a lot of ways to put treasures in the format with Streets of New Capenna. So this is actually very interesting, especially if you have ways to trigger yourself to get more red mana. So if you have a mana, red mana generator or a way to sacrifice and give yourself more... Uh, possible ways to get more mana this be awesome uh, this can pair very well with goblins to give you more goblins right to give you more mana to play more goblins this can pair well with a lot of burn spells uh, but because it's a creature that a creature focus you have to use a little bit of bros uh, this would be kind of awkward with uh, the human or the warrior class because both of them uh, you know, you, you don't want to play too many bros because you don't want your guys to get, you know, swept by any, you know, wraths and stuff like that. You you want to make sure that you have enough uh, creatures in your hand, creatures in the pocket or on the top of the library. You don't want to, you don't want to play everybody out too much. I, I think that this card was pretty fine tuned very well. I like it a lot. Uh, I have no complaints, really, apart from it being a 2-3. I think they I think they beefed up the butt here, the toughness to a 3, because it was probably getting eaten up many, many, uh, many times. So I think that here is a very good opportunity to explore this card, but I still think that it's kind of heavy uh, for 3 mana, because, uh, you know, if you tap out on 3 and you play this, if it, if it gets killed, then it sucks. But if, it, if you get to play it, um, you have some floating open mana. You get to play this on turn four. You untap with it. You get to seriously do some cool, excuse me, some cool stuff with the uh, with the flip, right? So maybe you get a land. Maybe you get to play some more things. You get to do stuff at the end of the turn. You get to just really go to town with your treasures. So I think that's a cool idea. Find ways to put more treasures into play. Find ways to attack your people with with uh, with creatures. Uh, I don't know how I can prove this unless this was a goblin, but so far, so good. All right, thank you for your time. I do give this a, like a B plus, right? You tell me what you think, all right? Do you agree with me? Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? You tell me something that I don't see, yeah? Let me know with a comment or a message on YouTube, Instagram, or the podcast, or twitch.com slash nofingway. Lastly, what other card do you think I should review, huh? You decide. Episode number 53 in the books.
Peace out.